Hey guys, Alfredo Morales here. I try my best to answer a few questions. Thank you. So just let's start. Jackson Bell, what is your favorite thing about living in New York City so far? It's great. I mean, it's the capital of the world. It has so much stuff you can, it's, it's almost too much of everything, but I like it. So you can go to a, re to a different restaurant every day, I guess, for the next four years. So, so there's a lot of stuff to do and I'm really, I'm really excited for it. Sebastian Yepes, T-Neck, New Jersey. Hey Alfredo, I was just wondering how much your lifestyle has changed since making the move from Germany to New York City. My lifestyle didn't change at all. <laughs> I don't know, I'm the same person, I do the same things. I have two dogs, big dogs, so I like to walk my dogs for an hour or more in nature. On a daily basis, I'm, I'm a chill guy, I think. I, I enjoy being at home with my kids. They're into baseball, so I try to teach them baseball. I don't know nothing about baseball, so I do my best there too. Um, but take care of my family, this is what I do. Next one, Miles Douglas, Brooklyn, New York. What's your favorite thing about this team and why? I think it's a great team. We have a very, very high quality of players. And not only 11 players, we have, uh, the whole squad is very, very good. It's very competitive. And this is what I like to, to improve together, to, to compete in training. This is what I like. And I think we can, we can do special things with this team. We have, to, we have to show this on the pitch every single weekend or every single game. And if we do this, if we execute our game plan together with the, with the coaching staff, we will be very successful. Ethan Cooney from New York. What tips do you have for young defensive midfielders? Great question. The most important thing is to play simple, to, to know your role, to, to organize, to communicate, to support your teammates, always to speak a lot, to help. And yeah, like I said, to play simple, to play one, two touch, switch the side, win the ball, play forward. I think this, that's the most important thing. It's from Tate Gottwin. When playing on an international circuit, do you prefer to play at home and have the home crowd roaring with you or internationally and sacrifice so, some of the support for the opportunity to travel? I think the home crowd is always good. It's always better. It always feels special to get the support right from the stands. Itai Flam from West Hampstead. During your time in Germany, you were with Düsseldorf, who were unfortunately relegated on the last day of the season. What goes through your mind when something like this happens? And how do you work on it in the future? Wow. Um, it's tough. It's really tough. Um, I'm somebody I always try to be positive. I always try to believe in, in myself and my team, especially in a, in a time like this when you're almost relegated, when it's all or nothing. But uh, that's how it is. This is also why I love this sport because it's, it's so much joy, but it can also go the other way. And uh, like I said, I'm always positive. And I think the best way to respond is bounce back the right way. Diego Parodi from Peru. What does Peru mean to you? I wish I, I went there more often in my life, to be honest, but I never had the chance to go because of soccer. It's not so easy to go to Peru. It, I mean, it's far away, especially from Germany. From here, it's, it's a little closer, but I will spend a lot of time in Peru after my soccer career. I'm pretty sure about this because I'm so interested in the culture and in the history of this country. And it's a special country for me because my dad is from there and I, I feel Peruvian. I know this is my, my ancestors are from there. So it's just, it's very special to me and I'm very proud of it too. Um, but like I said, it's unfortunately, I couldn't spend enough time there until now, but I will do it in the future. 
I want to take my wife, I want to take my kids there. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this. Aaron O'Keefe from West Hampton, New Jersey. What is your favorite German dish? I don't know, I like all kinds of food, but German is maybe, you call it currywurst. It's a sausage with curry, obviously. And um, it's very, it's very popular in Berlin. In my opinion, Berlin produces the best one in Germany. There are a lot of discussions about this, but I would say this is my favorite German dish. Yes. Okay, last one. Jonathan Denza, New York. Yeah, what a question. Alfredo, what's your favorite pasta sauce? Seriously? <laughs> now, uh, to be honest, in Europe, or especially in Germany, you don't have the Alfredo sauce. So, I don't know. I like pasta. I like all kind of pasta. But to make this joke work, I just say Alfredo pasta, Alfredo sauce, okay? Okay, guys, thank you for your questions. I really enjoyed it. Um, I hope to see you soon. Take care.